Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Able Cine and coming to you from the Pacific Northwest with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the firmware that was released for this camera, the C300 Mark II, in the middle of December 2017. Now this firmware update includes support for three additional Canon lenses. Two of them are EFS lenses and one of them is an EF lens. And the support is for correction for both peripheral illumination and for chromatic aberration. But the big news with this firmware update is that the C300 Mark II with the firmware update now supports this monitor, the LMV1. This was originally introduced with the Canon EOS C200, and it's a monitor I like very, very much. It is a touchscreen, so you can use this with dual pixel CMOS AF, but it does have some other advantages, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. First of all, there are quarter 20 taps on the LMV1 that are on the side and then also on the bottom. So we do have the ability to mount this in many different ways. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a standard cold shoe mounted ball mount and I'm going to attach that to the side of the monitor itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and thread that and put that into place. And then I'm going to attach that to the C300 Mark II just like so. And then I can simply and easily mount that monitor there onto the camera. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take one of my existing cables that come with the monitor unit and I'm going to go ahead and attach that to both the back of the LMV1 and then directly into my video terminal here on the back of the camera system. And then I'm just going to go ahead and you will see here that we actually have picture on the monitor itself. So now that we have this attached to the C300 Mark II, I can quickly and easily get to all of these things that I normally have to go to the camera body for or to the grip unit for. So I can, for instance, press the function button here and I can cycle through and change my ISO. I can change my shutter and I can also change my white balance on the camera system. So I have all of that control here directly from the monitor. I can press the menu button and get to all of the menus that are on my camera system and get to those things quickly and easily. There's a cancel button and then I can also cycle through all of my different display options on the C300 Mark II. Now one other little bonus about this is there are two assignable buttons here on the monitor unit. So I can just press as a shortcut here the menu button on the back of the camera and the assignable button or I can actually do it right here on the monitor unit. I'll press those together and it will access and then allow me to assign a different function to that assignable button. And I can do that with assignable button two as well. Press menu and assignable button number two on here. It does recognize that that's an assignable button on the LMV1 and it will allow me to assign a function to that assignable button other than the one that is the default. In this case, function for number one and display for number two. So let me just go ahead and step out of there. There is also on the side of the LMV1 a mirror button here. So depending on your configuration, let's say for instance you are gimbal mounting this and you're mounting it upside down for some reason, you can actually cycle through and change that with the mirror button on the monitor. And then of course the big thing is the ability to take advantage of the dual pixel CMOS AF. So if I go ahead and take an AF mounted lens from Canon and I switch that over and switch it from the MF to the AF or autofocus mode, then I have the ability here now to go ahead and in this case just use the touchscreen here for the autofocus capabilities of the camera system. So I can just go ahead and touch and change my focus with the camera. So this gives me a tremendous amount of control when using this monitor with this camera system. And to me, it's a big upgrade. But what about if you need to get professional audio into the camera along with the LMV1? Let's go ahead and take a look at that configuration. So this last configuration for me is sort of the magic combo. What I'm doing is I am using the LMV1 here and I currently have it mounted to an arm. I'm using the infinity arm right now for Matthews. 
And the C300 Mark II actually has quarter 20 taps on either side of the camera body. So I'm mounting it over here on the right hand side of the camera body and then flying that monitor over the lens. And for me, this works really well in terms of weight distribution and it's very, very configurable. But I'm also introducing the MA400, which is an audio only unit that you can add to the C300 Mark II which has professional inputs, it has your XLR inputs, it has your audio controls, and you just run that other cable that comes with your C300 Mark II with the monitor unit. So you run one cable to the audio terminal, one cable from the LM-V1 to the video terminal on the back of the camera system, and now we have a very modular running gun system. Now, of course, the MA400 can be used by itself with a third-party EVF or another monitor. But for me, for this camera system, with this firmware update that now supports this monitor, and then using the MA400, which you can use with any of the firmware versions with the C300 Mark II, you really have... Um, kind of, in my opinion, upgraded the modularity of the C300 Mark II and then the addition of being able to not only use the dual pixel CMOS AF with the touchscreen, but also quickly and easily get to all of your camera functions to me make this a very, very worthwhile upgrade for the C300 Mark II. Thanks for watching.